Oh boys. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Blaine KX YouTube channel. This is going to be a little bit different of a video. Today we are on the old Honda Big Red. So if you know anything about these, a three-wheeler. If you know anything about these, these are absolute tanks. So this is a 19... 78 Honda Big Red 250 ATC. Um, I've done a lot of work to it. Black wheels and it died. Um, it's not running perfect yet. Still do need to do a little bit of adjusting on the carb, but motor is completely rebuilt. All the plastics have been fixed of where they're broken whenever I got it. Um, the everything is original on the bike besides the headlight. It does need new tires still, which I'm working on that. But yeah, it's a decently mint. It's still a little bit dirty, but it's a pretty mint unit. So today I thought we'd get out, do some ripping on it. I mean, nothing beats a Honda, right? And battery's dead. New battery for this thing is, I mean, you're looking at a hundred bucks for a new battery. Yeah, she runs and drives. Pretty nice unit, honestly. I know this can be a little bit different than like a dirt bike video, but hey. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. She's a little bit wobbly on the road. The tires on this thing are definitely not the best, but you know, you can't beat it, honestly. It's loud. I don't know. I mean, all you can really hear is tire noise from it and then that good old Honda motor roaring. One of the slowest things I've ever rode, for sure. I'd say it tops out at maybe 20 miles an hour. Never been down here before. I don't know what's down here. Just kind of out exploring, you know? So this is actually a road here. It's a gravel road. I don't know where it goes. I've never been this way. And my guess is we'll get down here and this will be a dead end. It didn't say no outlet on it, but it looks like it's going to lead to a house probably. Yep. So we'll just turn around right here. I don't want to go intrude on anyone. On this thing sucks so like if there's any kind of weight on the back of the bike your front wheel does absolutely nothing as you can imagine if you've never ridden one of these right here they're extremely fun if you ever get the chance to definitely ride one or pick one up they're really not that expensive on like marketplace yeah I mean they go for nothing you can pick up one Pretty good, well, pretty much the same, if not better condition than this one, for like 2,500 bucks. I'm gonna hop back up here on the road, get down to the hunting land, and we can do some more trail riding and do some little bit more exploring than you can do on a dirt bike. Sometimes it's nice to not be on two wheels. I mean, this is basically two wheels, you know. It has the balance of a unicycle all right and we made it down here i know this isn't louder than my dirt bike like there's more noise coming from up front where the dirt bike all the noise is behind you you know so it's a little bit different i hope the commentary comes out okay if you've watched my previous videos this is where we almost dropped the bike in the pond so that video is done exceptionally well so Thank you so much to everybody who's watched that and interacted with it. It really does mean a lot. And the same goes for all of my videos. It really is amazing to see people interacting with them, you know. One cool thing about the Honda Big Reds is their tires. They're such a big balloony tire, they actually float on top of water, supposedly. I've never tried it. 
Maybe if I can find some today, we will. Hopefully I won't get stuck. It doesn't like to stay idling sometimes. <laughs> Haven't quite figured it out. There is tracks here though. Those are... They're not my dirt bike tracks. They're too wide. They're definitely some kind of four-wheeler track. I don't know who's been down here. No one's supposed to be down here but me. We got trail cams up, but we haven't caught anyone yet. See, normally this is all water, as you can tell. So I was hoping it would be today, too, so I can go through it. He's got this planted. So this is actually our hunting land, so if y'all want to see more content down here, some of my hunting content or whatnot, that is our deer tower where I've killed a bunch of deer out of. And then we have a duck blind down here too, which I'll try and get to, but it's really grown up. It needs to be bush hogged. Oh, this is just something different. It's definitely gonna be a slower paced video. Nothing as crazy is gonna happen on this as in a dirt bike. It does get hot really quick. I can just feel it cooking my legs through my jeans and boots. But I mean, this thing right here is an absolute workhorse. All these new foilers and side-by-sides and everything else coming out nowadays, nothing will ever compare to an old Honda. As much as I might want a Can-Am or some kind of nice mud foiler, nothing will ever compete to the reliability of a Honda. I mean, what what Can-Am is going to be able to... I'm not hating on Can-Am any means, because I definitely do want one. But, what other four-wheeler is going to be over 20 years old and still, like, I mean, still cooking with very little maintenance done? Okay. This grass is tall. Okay, we made it out. If you remember from one of my previous videos, this is where I almost wrecked on the dirt bike. So this might be really dumb. But I'm going to try and get the three-wheeler out of here on the dock. This might be an awful idea too. It's a little wide for it. Let me get up and over some more. How am I doing here? I'm right on the edge. This is sketchy, man. I mean, I guess I could keep going, but hey. <laughs> Grab some thumbnail pictures. The old girl looks good out here, for sure. You know, the more I think about this, the stupider of an idea it actually was, probably. There we go, we made it. So what you guys think, y'all like the Honda content? If so, I definitely would do more of it, it's pretty fun. A little bit change of scenery. Which believe it or not, these, that is a hole. Okay. These are pretty easy to roll, unfortunately. Ooh, easy girl. Like a dream. It's like whatever was in there that needed to be clean, just like this here, it just went. So, I'm a firm believer in seafoam. That stuff works magical. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. In my last video, I actually put, I threw some music and whatnot in 
if y'all like that let me know and i'll do more of it just playing with it still um for editing i'm using sony vegas pro so i mean it's definitely not the easiest thing to use but hey so i'm gonna hop on right here start a time lapse of me driving home and then i'll catch y'all at the house Thank you to everybody for watching the video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe down below for more content like this. I definitely enjoy writing and it means a lot to me to know that other people enjoy watching it too. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all take care and have a great night. I was cleaning up my bike after the video, the last video. And I just wanna show y'all what is under this chain guard? If you stayed this long in the video, thank you for watching. This is just kind of a little behind the scenes and bonus. Because I mean, I was looking at my chain, and one, it's a little loose, I need to tighten it, but I mean, it's really dirty. And I didn't get it because I had cleaned it. And like, I just rode the bike around the yard for a second. Which I didn't do that good job cleaning it, obviously. But I was trying to figure out why it was so dirty still. Look at that. <clears throat> That's not good. It's definitely better, but all of that dirt here all came out right there. And look at that chunk that was up against. That was like that in there. Surprised I didn't have any more issues.